A mysterious legend surrounds a mountain close to Sherwood Forest. In his quest to discover the many mysteries of the natural world, Robin leads the race with Little John to reach the mountaintop and to confront the legend head on. It turns out to be a journey that neither of them would ever forget. Great oh. idea to come climbing, Robin. Quit talking and pull. Oh. Go. <sighs> Little John, you're out of shape. Yeah? Well, you don't look so hot. Anyway, I'm carrying more weight. You can say that again. Well, it's a good job it's all muscle. Come up here for the view, he says. What about the view down there? He never said he didn't have a head for heights. That mountain is too high. Let's go home. Oh, hello, boys. <laughs> wow, oh, that's some bird. It's working at last. I'm away with the birds. Huh? Just like one of the good lord's little creatures. It's Friar Tuck. I bet he's gonna fall. Hey, Robin! Hi there. So where's the mad monk? Look, up there. Huh? Oh, I've come to grief. Oh, the wings were terrible. The feet were good, though. <laughs> Bang, come here. <laughs> the old bones are somewhat bruised. I just don't understand it, you know, girls. One minute you're up in the sky, and the next you're hurled to Earth. And there was I thinking that I'd planned everything to the smallest detail. Oh! And why would you be looking at me like that? Have I got a spot on the end of me nose? Friar, let's get one thing straight. What would that be? A man's a man, and a bird's a bird. Now, you're not a bird, so you must be a man, am I right? It's logical, you're not built for flying. Let's be honest, you're not really built for walking. You poor demented fool, little John, I certainly feel sorry for you. Now, whatever happened to hope? Huh? Have faith in man's ability. It sounds crazy, but I believe that sooner or later, men will fly to the moon. Are you trying to make a monkey out of me, Friar? Hey, look, he doesn't mean to be rude, Friar Tuck. If God wanted us to fly, he'd have given us wings. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you say to that, Friar Tuck? Well, now, I know of one story about men that fly. Has nobody ever heard of the legend of the flying ship? The, the flying ship? ship? That's right, my little ones, it's a machine with huge wings and it sails along in the sky and nobody knows where it came from except the good Lord, of course. Ah, that's baloney. You have the brain of a pea. Um, just imagine yourself all alone, miles and miles up there in the sky, Lord and master of all that you survey. Hmm. Faster! Stand by for boarding, Baron! Guards, shoot that contraption out of the sky! <laughs> That's pathetic! Oh, when get a load of this! Ha! Ah, no! Look no. out! Oh! Oh! Ah, ah. Uh, spare ah. me! Please, little John! <laughs> Little John the Grey! Hmm? My hero! Oh, Winifred. <laughs> hey, come on, boss. Wake up. What's the matter? Hmm? Oh, well, I was thinking about the flying ship. Huh? You know, maybe it's flying up there right now. Yep, it's possible. I could go anywhere, travel far away. Huh? That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, now, don't you think that flying's the most marvelous thing? Now, look. Come clean. Where can we find it? Tell us, Friar. It's not that simple. Yeah, but you must have some kind of idea, Friar. Robin, don't you start. 
Oh, come yeah. on! Everyone, yeah. come on! Time. You just let us on! Oh, come on, Friar, oh, tell, tell us! Tell us! Please. Wait! All right, I'll do my best to remember. Now, let's see just where to begin. Well, if I am going to tell you where it is, in return you must promise never to go there. According to legend, the ship is up there, at the very top of the highest mountain, beyond reach. It's been there for centuries, they say, but those who've gone in search of it have never returned. Some people do say they're lost and that the mountain keeps them prisoner forever. You see, nature has her own secrets and sometimes it's best that men should not challenge them. Some have fallen into a bottomless crevasse, pushed by a ferocious wind. You must promise never to go. Well, now you know. Huh? Where is everybody else? Where are they? They've all gone to the mountain you were just talking about. They wanted to find the flying ship. Oh, no. Still think I'm out of shape? Camels run faster. Yeah, we'll see. I'll be the first of the flying ship. That's if it exists. If not, why are you running? I want to find out whether or not we can really fly. So do I. Me too. Well, I hope you're up to it. It might be pretty dangerous for you kids up there, you know. Think back and remember what the mad monk told us. He's not a mad monk. His name is Friar Tug. Want to fight? Anytime. <sighs> Hmm. Ah. There it is. This way. <laughs> hey, guys! Listen, why don't you take a tip from someone who knows? There's a shortcut. Come on, much? A shortcut? Oh. It's better this way, Robin. The path is safer. But supposing that Little John gets to the flying ship first? Oh, I'd never be able to live it down. Robin! What have we got to lose? Huh? Oh, boys! Here goes! Ha oh! No! Oh! <laughs> Marion! <gasps> what? From here on, the path gets really rocky. We'll pick you up on the way back. Stay there, Marion. But, Robin... Typical. I'll show them what a girl can do. <laughs> Daylight. Thank goodness. Hey, wait! Last one up to Sissy! Right. Ship. Just watch me, you big oaf. Just like a couple of kids. Yeah, how much? One day they might grow up. I've got a confession. I'm not very good with water. Well, stop talking like that. You'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Look over there. What is it? What's the matter? Stepping stones. We just walk right over them. Come on, Will. I got a bad feeling about this. What's the matter? A big boy like you scared of a little water? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, you know. I'll show him. Whoa. Come on. Don't look down. Okay, so far. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Come on, hurry up. Well, and 
And then there were three. Huh? Hmm. We'll soon be there. Well, pretty soon. I hope. It can't be much further. Hey, boss. You go on alone. Huh? Hey, much. Get on your feet. Now listen to me. How long have we been together, huh? A long time. Almost as far back as I can remember. We had some good times. Yeah, well, don't start getting all sentimental. Hey, you two stay here, and I'll go on alone. Uh, move, you little Jack Rabbit! Jack Rabbit! Jack Rabbit! Jack Rabbit! Yeah. Hey, where's Much? Help! Good luck, boss! Help! Help! And then there were two. Maybe the friar was right, huh? Ah! Huh? huh? Oh, I can't go on. I'm exhausted. Oh. Well, if it isn't Little John. And Robin. Huh? huh? Marion. How did you manage to get here before us? Well, wouldn't you like to know? And what took you so long? Well, there was this river, and... I see. And where are Will and Much? Uh... They had a little race to see who could get home first. Oh, yes? Really? If that's so, boys, then it's just down to the three of us. Now what? Do you think this mountain's trying to tell us something? That's just what Friar Tuck would say if he were here. Well, I ain't got time to chat all day. Yeah. Come on. Hi ya! I can't reach the rope. I'll try and climb up the branch. Come on, Marion. You can do it. Right. Here goes. Scared of snakes? Yep. <sighs> hey, Robin, you know this sure ain't no picnic. It sure isn't. If that fog cuts us off, then we're not going to stand a chance. Hey, I've just had an idea. Since you're afraid of the fog, Robin, maybe you better turn back. Think I'd fall for that one? Ah! Listen, wait. Let's work as a team, huh? You and me? You gotta be kidding. Terrific. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! I've got ah. you! Hang Ooh. on! Ah. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, thanks, Robin. Huh? What is that? Looks to me like it's gonna rain. Looks more like a typhoon. We'll get drowned if we stay here. Um, we either go up or down. Um, we can't give up. Let's go for the top. The top, huh? Right. Okay, to the top it is. Oh, yeah. As I said, we do make a pretty good team, don't we? 
The top? The top! Come on! We're there! Huh? Hey, what is that? Some kind of tower! Hey, I wonder if that could be the entrance! The Mad Monk could tell us! His name is Friar Tuck! Huh? Stop quibbling! This tower, it must be something to do with the flying ship. Ooh. Uh. Let's find some shelter. Yeah. I don't like it. It's all a lot too quiet. Will you just give it a rest for a minute? Only trying to help. Well, don't. I'm trying to think. Look, why don't we just stay here and holler for help? Great idea. And just who is going to hear us all the way up here? Hold on. I've just had a thought. What about Friar Tuck's flying ship? Well, what about it? Well, if there really is a flying ship, then there has to be a crew somewhere. Oh, good thinking. But we got to do something. Help! Someone! Nobody. No one at all. Ah, uh, that's it, Robin. We're on our own. That's right. You know, it's gonna be a long wait. Huh? Here it comes again! Ah! Hold on oh. tight! I'm, I'm losing it! Look at that! Huh? I had a beautiful dream. I had it too. The ship? Mm hmm. Not yet. We just can't understand it. Believe me, I know the feeling. But this one should work. We built it just like the one we saw scooting all over the sky, Friar Tuck. It is impossible. If you're going to fly, you need wings. I don't believe you saw any such thing now, did you, boys? He's right, guys. You must have been imagining it. Much? Why don't you shut your mouth? But honestly, 
You must admit it sounds so ridiculous, Robin. Marion, we saw it with our own eyes. Right? Right. I think you must have had a bad dream. Well, there's something very strange going on around here because you two never agree on anything. That's right. Us space pioneers have to stick together. There you are. What did I say? I told you it should have been smaller. But you said we needed more room. A bit more room is what I said. Then you go and put four more seats in it. You? For you? Why is that? You're too big. It's muscle! Ha! What line were you in when they gave out brains? In front of you, you aristocratic little pipsqueak! Reading, little John, you've either got it or you haven't. Well, I didn't see much of that when we were halfway up the mountain and you were scared of the fog. Well, I wasn't scared of the fog. Ha! I was just worried about you. Yeah. When a stranger arrives in Sherwood Forest, Winifred's world is turned upside down. When Tuck told her fortune, she should have realized that sometimes it's best not to know what the future holds in store for you. After all, the future is not set, and sometimes it's best to rely on your friends rather than believe that your fate rests on the turn of a card. Take a look at Winifred's future next time. <laughs>